Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, today I was looking at some of the comments and of course uh, one of the other fixes that the bug fixing update actually did this week was um, on the reliability of the uh, desktop, the Windows Desktop Manager. And this can create all sorts of weirdness when you actually are trying to use um, anything on the desktop. Um, some of you have been using the desktop peak function where you can actually have a glimpse of the desktop temporarily while doing something else. Uh, I also saw another one that had a problem that sometimes the file explorer would completely restart the, the not the file explorer, sorry, the um, Windows um, Explorer that that you know ev everything that controls the taskbar and all of that so the taskbar would disappear and reappear kind of refresh itself and um, both of them um, have mentioned one um, you viewer that has the uh, peak function that just crashed um, or had a problem well the uh, that seems fixed and uh, the other user that had the uh, constant crashes of the Windows Explorer and the taskbar would disappear and come back. It says it doesn't do it since the bug fixing update. So I guess it fixes a wide array of desktop problems. If you've had any types of problems on the desktop from, you know, um, refresh of the taskbar to errors to functions that maybe don't work right or don't work the way they should, um, it seems that that does fix quite a few things. It is very interesting because when we look at the different functionalities and the different, you know, the blog post, the way they explain stuff, it's not, you know, 100% clear exactly what are you fixing. And that, you know, the desktop manager thing is an example. Well, yeah, okay, improve desktop, you know, Windows desktop manager reliability. Why is that needed and what does it fix exactly? You know, it doesn't say specifically, oh, it fixes taskbar refresh or whatever, you know, or the desktop peak function. Um, it's like the other fixes, the file explorer fix uh, that I just made a video about, you know, kind of addresses an issue, which is not what necessarily we have, but it could be related. So, now I've had some people say, well, you know, since the bug fix, um, my file explorer and everything around it seems fast again. So it fixes definitely some of the things that are around all of that. Sometimes it could be indirectly a problem, and that could be one of the reasons. So, you know, that's why the bug fixes are there. And it's nice to see that this month it actually addressed a few things that some of you were having and um, in that, well, you know, let's hope that for the future, the other updates don't break anything, which is always one, you know, what we, you know, think about. So if you have some of these issues that I just mentioned, um, I think that, you know, maybe installing the uh, bug fixing update now is not a bad idea. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.